to get the area underneath the parabola y equals x squared between x equals 0 and x equals 3. This is 3, and this here is 9, because it's uh, y equals x squared, so this point here is 3, comma, 9. The method is to split up this base into equal intervals and make a series of rectangles. Notice how the top right corner of each rectangle is actually on, actually on the parabola. And to add up those rectangles, and it will get me approximation, the more rectangles, the better uh, the approximation. Let's say that I split it up into eight different rectangles. The width of each rectangle is going to be three eighths. That's, that's the width. Each of these widths is the same. And the height, well, every rectangle has different height. The height is the square of the x-coordinate. So the very first rectangle is, uh, the width is three-eighths, and the height is actually three-eighths squared. This is three-eighths, three-eighths squared. The second rectangle has a width of three-eighths, but its height is not three-eighths. Its height is the square of this point here, which is going to be um, six-eighths. But this is this is three eighths, six eighths, nine eighths, twelve eighths. But I'm going to call this first x uh, x x value here three eighths, and then I'll call the next one two times three eighths, three times three eighths, four times three eighths, five times three eighths. So if you square it, you get over here. You get the y value. So it's two times three eighths squared, and then it's going to go three eighths times three times three eighths squared. And it's going to go all the way to the last rectangle, which is 8 times 3 eighths squared. And the sum of those is going to be the sum. You could factor out, not only could you factor out a 3 eighths, but each of these has a 3 eighths squared in them. So I could actually factor out 3 eighths uh, squared. And all that's left inside is 1 squared plus 2 squared up to 8 squared. But we have a, a formula, so this becomes 3 eighths cubed. And the formula for 1 squared plus 2 squared, uh, add up to the first n squares, is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. And this equals around uh, 10.75, which is not the exact area, but it's, it's close to the, to the actual area. To get a better approximation, you could use more rectangles. If I made n is equal to 1,000, for example, this would have become 3 to the third over 1,000 to the third times 1,000 times 1,001 times 2,001 over 6. And that one becomes about 9.01. And the actual answer is equal to 9. Um, now, you can't really make n equal to infinity, but if you did, I'm going to leave this as an n now. I'm not actually going to write the infinity in. n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. The idea is, when n is really, really large, this, this is equal to n. n plus 1 is so close to n that it might as well be n. And 2n plus 1 is pretty close to 2n. So in a sense, if I just write n, 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 I can cancel out this with this, this with this, and this would become two of those, and this would cancel out with that and become three of those. And I would get 3 to the third over 3, which does equal 9. In general, if I'm calling this A as, as my interval, it's going to become 
a to the third over n to the third times obviously 1 squared plus 2 squared up to n squared which becomes a to the third over n to the third times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 but just like before this is kind of like 2n so these n cubes cancel out with these and this 2 cancels out whoops with this and we get a cubed over 3. And that's going to be the general formula for finding the area under a parabola from 0 to a. So if I were to ask, here's y equals x squared, and I want to go from 0 to 5, it's going to be 5 cubed over 3, which is 125 over 3. When I change my curve, to y equals x cubed, and now I want to go to the point 327. For x cubed, so it, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Uh, for n intervals, each thing, each interval is going to be three over n. So what we end up with is the combined sum, the first rectangle is 3 over n times 3 over n cubed. The second one is 3 over n times 2 times 3 over n cubed. And that's going to continue 3 over n, n times 3 over n cubed. Uh, the reason why I'm cubing it is because these rectangles now, the, the, um, the height of the rectangle is the cube of the x-coordinate underneath it. For this one I can factor out 3 over n from each and also another 3 over n cubed from each ends up with 3 over n to the fourth and inside I get 1 cubed plus 2 cubed all the way up to n cubed. Now we have a formula for for 1 cubed plus 2 cubed up to, up to n cubed so I've got 3, 3 to the 4th over n to the 4th. Is that what I have before? Yes. Times n times n plus 1 over 2 squared. And this thing pretty much becomes, the bottom becomes 4 because 2 squared is 4. And the top is pretty much, I mean it's n times n plus 1 times n times n plus 1. These four pretty much cancel out with these four. And I get 3 to the 4th over 4 is the exact answer. In general, it's going to be 8 to the 4th over 4. So now if I have a question again, where I have y equals x cubed, and I want to go out to 5 and get the area of this thing, the area is going to be 5 to the 4th over 4, and that's going to be the exact answer. In general, for y equals x squared, the area under it up to a is a cubed over 3. For y equals x cubed, the area is a to the fourth over 4, and we can see a pattern here. It seems reasonable that x to the fourth, the area is going to be a to the fifth over 5, and for y equals x to the p power, where p could be any integer, the area seems to be a to the p plus 1 over p plus 1. And that was sort of the goal of these lessons. So now I can ask a question like area under y equals x to the 7th between x equals 0 and x equals 4. We could imagine this kind of picture again. But now we have the answer. Area is a to the 8th over 8, which is 4 to the 8th over 8, whatever that is. So to summarize, the area under y equals x to the p from x equals 0 to x equals a 
is a to the p plus 1 over p plus 1. And that was the formula we were deriving for the last few days.